So Melissa, tell us about the work you do. So I am CEO of Caring Cooks of Jersey, which is a local charity that's founded on the philosophy that every child and family in Jersey should have good food. Um, we are two years old and um, we run a number of services to support families in the community. So we run a weekly meal service that's cooked here at La Rocchia that delivers meals to over 10 families every Saturday that are facing hardship, be that either illness or financial worries. We, um, again from La Rocchia, we run two cooking programmes a week, which we teach parents the skills and the confidence to get back in the kitchen. And on a Thursday, we run a pop-up cafe um, to invite families to come and share a meal with us. Okay, why is the support important to you? Um, so I have two young children and I'm very passionate about their health and nutrition and making sure that they eat well. So um, when my daughter was born, I just offered to cook a meal for a family once a week that were experiencing hardship so they could sit down once a week and eat well and eat together. Um, yeah, and that went from there. So at what point did this idea move from being just an idea to the well-established charity it now is? Thank you. Um, so when I had initially offered to do the meal for a family once a week, um, it was picked up by the media and lots of other islanders wanted to do the same. So we founded our weekly meal service which was initially cooked from volunteers' homes and it was funded by volunteers. Um, then we grew and we wanted to support parents changing those habits in the home. So we, in December 2015, we started our community cooking programmes. Um, and then we're growing. So um, we're growing in terms of turnover. We're growing in terms of the families that we can support. And um, this year we'll see us um, deliver a lot more services. So on Friday, with Summer A School, we launch our Jamie Oliver Kitchen Garden project where um, the students will sow their own seeds in the garden and they'll grow and they'll harvest their vegetables and fruits and then in September they'll start learning how to prepare and cook meals from that. Tell us about the moment you found out you had won the Woman's Refuge Award. <laughs> um, I didn't even know I'd been nominated to be honest but um, I had been nominated and I got a call last week to say I'd been shortlisted which was phenomenal. I didn't even think I'd be shortlisted um, and I really wasn't expecting to win. So when I was on the stage on Tuesday and they announced the runner-up names, I was in complete shock. Um, so very humbled and privileged to have won it. How did your family feel when you received the award? Very proud. Um, and they understand that um, for me it's a real achievement because I've been put a lot of work into caring cooks born through my passion to support families but it meant a lot that someone had thought that I'd inspired them in a way and helped them on their path. Okay thank you for talking to us today. You're welcome, thank you.